Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your routing in React. So let's get started. Now that we have installed a fresh installation of React, okay, in my I have installed it in my client folder. Okay, so after you have done that, you will have this in your source folder. Okay, so to add routing into your react application you need to install react router dom okay so we're going to install that first just type in the command npm i react router dom okay press enter now that we have installed react router dom i am going to delete this because I don't really need this and you can keep it or delete it if you want in my app.gx folder okay this is where everything is going to happen so first I'm going to start the server while that is running I'm going to clear this up So now, here I'm going to show you how to add routing. So first you need to import three things, which are import, and you, and you need to import this from React Router DOM, okay? So the three things we're going to add are So the first one is browser router as router, okay? The next one is routes, and the last one is route. So you need to add those into this. I'm going to do router, okay? Then inside of this, you need to add routes. And then inside of this, you add route to specify a route. And now I'm actually going to create a folder called pages. Okay, you can name this whatever you want. I like to call it pages. And inside of this, I'm going to add home.jsx. Okay, so in here, I'm going to create a functional component. So I'm naming this home. I'm going to add in, actually, I'm going to keep it as home for now. And here, I'm going to tell it that the path is going to be slash, meaning it's going to be the main index. Okay. You need to specify index here. Okay. And here, all you need to do is tell it in the element prop what element is it going to display when it's going to go to this path. Okay. So I'm going to do home. And I'm going to open up my browser. As you can see, I'm seeing home. And let me create another file called about. I'm going to save this. And here, just going to duplicate this. Okay. I'm going to remove the index because I only need the path. And I'm going to say when I go to the slash about, I'm going to need the about page. Okay. So let's go to slash about. And as you can see, it's now about, okay? The reason why you're seeing this in the center is because it's adding some default styling that comes with beat, okay? So that's why you're seeing that, okay? 
So next I'm going to show you how to add some layout styling to this and I'm just going to show you something simple but you can add whatever you want on top of this okay. So the way that layouts work is that let me just create a new folder I'll call this layouts okay and in this I'll call this root layout and here I'll just add something really basic and that will be style and give it a background color of light green okay you would think that in here you need to add children and add that in here but the way that this works in react router dom is that here you need to add the outlet component okay and then go back to your app.jsx where you have defined your routes okay and it's really simple what i'm going to do is i'm going to do route and i'm going to put these two okay i'm going to put all the routes that i want to have this layout that I've created I want to put those routes into this route okay and here I'm gonna say path that anytime that it goes to the main path okay I wanted to have this element okay that is going to be the layout root layout okay and I'm gonna save this and as you can see the green color is being applied. The reason why you're not seeing it covering the entire page is because this isn't adding it to the body. For example, if I add here height of, yeah, 100 viewport should be good. So if I add the height of 100 viewport, as you can see, and the width can be width is going to be a hundred percent you know what um I am actually going to go into this and I'm gonna remove the default styling okay it's just the default stuff that it comes with yeah here we go okay so now it's covering the entire page even though I have applied the layout I'm gonna go here and let's check out our routing okay so how do we navigate from one page to another here I'm going to do something really simple so you need to add a link tag okay and what this is going to take is a two and the two is going to be the slash okay and I can add some styling to this I'm just gonna quickly add some simple styling to this and just come back so now I'm going to say about okay to make it a about link Okay, I'm now gonna go into my main page okay and here you can see it's the link now okay should add some padding to that okay so you need to add a link I just added a class name for some styling then you do a to to tell it which route it needs to go to and since this ends up being an anchor tag by the way so I'm adding about to tell it this is the name within the anchor tag so basically this is coming out as slash a href equal to slash with the class name of this and about this is coming out as this okay just wanted to be clear on that so I'm gonna save this and I'm on my main 
page okay and I'm gonna click this need to go to the about route slash about okay now I'm gonna click this and as you can see I'm going to the about if I just copy this and just paste it in here okay and save this and actually I need to import this in okay and I'm gonna say go to the main page okay and this is going to be the home okay so that's it so I'm gonna save this and now you can see I'm getting the home button if I click this I'm going to the home page and if I click this I'm going to the about okay so that's how routing and layout and links work so i hope you like this tutorial like and subscribe for more tutorials like this and i'll see you in the next one bye